What's up Venture Crew? Today we're gonna take a look at the brand new conversational forms launch from Gravity Forms. If you use Gravity Forms, you need to pay attention to this. It's a type form competitor from Gravity Forms, just launched. Let's check it out. Okay, so as you're always gonna get from us, let's jump right in and just talk about conversational forms from Gravity Forms, okay? So if you've ever used Typeform before, you've seen uh, on Typeform, it's these forms where you have kind of, you know, a nice big full screen experience to fill out the form. It's not just on the form on the page. And you have one question at a time, hit a button to keep going through the fields. It's a nice conversational way to go through filling out forms. Gravity Forms finally released basically a competitor to Typeform to allow Gravity Forms to be used just like that, okay? So we're gonna go through two things in this video real quick. Number one, I'm just gonna show you an example of what it can be, and then number two, I'm gonna walk through really quickly how I got it set up on a, uh, a, my WordPress site, and just a little quick test form that I can show you that I built. Okay, first of all, let's just look at it real quick and see, like show you what it is, so you can say, hey, is this something I can use for my own WordPress website or for my clients' WordPress websites? So let's say that you are a web design agency and you wanna ask clients you know, in a lead capture kind of form what you can help them with, okay? So if you're a digital marketing agency, um, Gravity Forms built this example form just to show you an example of this, okay? So this is <clears throat> like a digital marketing agency collecting a client on the way in as a lead form. So imagine on your website, somebody says, I wanna hire you as my digital marketing agency. You can just set this up real quick in Gravity Forms, okay? So you can hit learn more to start, and as you can see here, it's just like type form. So the elements here, I have one big uh, element on the screen, and then I have the percent completed down the bottom, so I can see as a user how I'm getting through. Okay, so they just say a statement here, then you hit continue. How can we help you? I'm gonna stick with web design, hit continue. You get the idea, right? Nice and beautiful, type form competitor, continue all the way through the form, type in what you want, hit continue. Uh, another statement here. You can also press enter to go through these forms if you want to. Uh, these form fields, just like I did there, email, and hit enter, uh, stick with no rush, and submit, and now I'm 100% completed, and here's my nice, beautiful uh, thank you page, basically, that I get to at the end. So really cool form experience that's like way better than the, the normal kind of out-of-the-box gravity forms experience, okay? So this is a, a, a plugin, an add-on plugin that comes with Gravity Forms. Now, here's the one thing I will say before I show you how I set it up on my site. Um, this, uh, the one downside to this is that it's not a free add-on. So you are gonna need the elite license from Gravity Forms in order to use this, okay? So our team at Bandicoot Marketing, uh, we build sites for, as an agency for, um, for small businesses. We have an elite license that we can use on client websites and all that kind of stuff, but you may not have that. And just to show you here, um, you're definitely gonna need this uh, elite license in order, to, um, in order to install this, okay? So it's gonna be on the 259 a year plan um, for, you can see this check mark here for Elite, okay? So you're definitely gonna need the Elite price, which is 259 a year. It does renew at less than 259 a year, um, but if you're using Gravity Forms, you're definitely gonna need that Elite license for it, okay? So that's the plan that you would need to be on in order to get this uh, installed. All right, let's jump over to um, my WordPress website here and I'll kind of show you how I got all this set up in a test form that I set up, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is obviously go to your plugins. Um, you wanna install Gravity Forms, the default plugin. You just go to gravityforms.com. Uh, if you have an account, you log in and you can download the core Gravity Forms plugin. So go ahead and get that installed. I've already done that here. Then the second thing is you need to go ahead and install the Gravity Forms conversational forms add-on, okay? The way I did that is super easy. One of the things I love about Gravity Forms is they have this add-on section here that lets you go in and quickly install any of the add-ons, okay? So again, I just hit can Command F on the screen, typed in C-O-N-V, you see the conversional forms, conversational forms add on here, and you can go ahead and just hit install right next to this, and it goes ahead and adds the plugin for you. So you don't have to go um, download the plugin from gravityforms.com and, and upload it separately. It goes, goes ahead and adds the plugin for you, okay? From there, I used the, um, the setup information at docs.gravityforms.com in order to kind of see how it needs to be set up. Once you activate the plugin, um, you're gonna go into your um, you're gonna go into your site here, and you're gonna go to forms and then new form. And they recommend using a blank form, which I recommend as well. So you're gonna go ahead and hit blank form, and you can just type in conversational forms um, test here. All right, and then create blank form. Okay, once you do that, you need to go to settings, 
and then you're gonna have this conversational forms um, strap down here. Uh, once you have conversational, you won't see that unless you have the conversational forms plugin installed, okay? So I hit conversation seven settings in the form and then conversational forms. And you need to make sure this toggle is toggled over and the conversational forms will turn on, okay? First thing you need to set is a permalink for the forms. You can just put in test or something that makes sense for you. And then there's a couple different layouts you can try here. So this center layout that they have selected here is the full screen experience. I like that experience, so I left that. And then you can change all your settings you wanna change here. Background color, form accent color. Just play around with these to see how it changes your form and what you wanna do there. You can enable a logo, a background image. You can add a welcome screen, which I did on the test form I set up, but I'll show you in a minute, and then save your settings, okay? Once you do that, uh, it's pretty much ready to go and you just need to add new fields into your form. So if we go ahead and save these settings, once that's enabled, it's gonna tell me I already have one set with that, so I can save settings. Cool, now the settings are updated and I'm ready to kind of look at my form. If I view the form, I can see I don't have any any fields set up yet, so I'm not gonna see anything. Um, and I have my little uh, uh, percentage completion down at the bottom here once I add fields, okay? So I'm gonna go back to edit here and I'm gonna go ahead and add fields, okay? So once I, um, I'm gonna go back to settings here and check one thing. Okay, we enabled a welcome screen here. So we can just say, I'm actually gonna save this and I'm gonna go back to the form I already have created, okay? So uh, that's going to be our conversational form. Okay, under this, under conversational forms, I have a logo added here, which I did, um, you could just upload it here. And then I have enable welcome screen selected and I have this message here, well, hello there and then the button that says let's go. That's kind of start, you'll see it in a minute. And then I enable the progress bar as well. So that's the little bar at the bottom that tells me how far along I am, okay? And have those settings saved. Under edit, when I'm ready to add stuff to my form, you literally just take stuff like you normally do in Gravity Forms on the right here and drag it over. So I dragged over a name field, an email field, and then a what's your job at the company field, and then a what can we help you with? Just a super basic set of options here, okay? Once I have my fields added on here, you can go ahead and test this and see how it looks. So let's go ahead and go to settings and then I'm gonna go to view form right here. And here's my form. So this is my welcome screen that says, well, hello here. My logo needs to be enlarged a little bit, but you can see it's up here in the top left. And then I hit let's go as a user, type in my name and I can hit enter. What's my email, blah, blah, blah. Pretty cool, job at the company, whatever that is. And then I need help with web design. So I've literally just, this took me about five minutes to set up, created a really beautiful step-by-step -step form that can collect leads for a digital marketing agency. So I hit submit here and it's just, thanks for contacting us or whatever you wanna do. If you wanna redirect them to a page at the end of your form or whatever, you can do that, okay? Super cool, quick video here to show you like what conversational forms is and then how to set it up really quickly on a WordPress website. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was really helpful to you. I think a lot of digital marketing agencies, a lot of people building sites for clients that now have the ability to set this up for their clients with these really cool types of forms that they can build into their websites. I think this is gonna get Gravity Forms moved along a lot as far as like um, competing with Typeform and how it goes. All right, hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, there are links below to grab a Gravity Forms license. So you can literally just use the description down below to grab that license, sign up for Gravity Forms. If you use our link, it helps out the channel um, to sign up for your Gravity Forms license. So feel free to go down there and grab that link. Um, that'll be wpventure.com slash gravity forms to grab your gravity forms license. If you're going to try it out, even on a trial, we would love uh, for you to use that link to do so. Please like, and subscribe this video. It helps us out a ton in getting our video content out to all other people who are trying to learn how to use WordPress better. All right. Thanks. Cheers. We'll see you guys soon.